In this video, we're installing a regulator housing and regulator on a C11 engine. This is the top half of the regulator housing that the regulator sits in. We have to take out the, this seal here that the regulator slides back and forth through. To do that, I've removed the plugs at the top of the regulator housing. These ones are not used on this particular engine. That's why they're plugged and we're going to drive that seal out using a drift. You can see if you come through the hole there you can line that seal up and just pop it out. They don't take much to knock out, they just took one hit with the hammer. So where that seal sits you just want to clean that up and this is the new seal. You push that, you put that in there with the numbers facing out and I picked a socket that's the same diameter as the seal and just give that a few taps of the hammer and drive it in home. When you change a regulator you should change the seal as well. The regulator as it heats up slides through this seal and back when it cools down and you want a good seal around that and you don't want the regulator to fail on that so a new seal is important. This is the regulator. It opens at 83 degrees and is fully open at 92 degrees. It just slides straight in there, dry. You don't need any lubricant. What seals the regulator housing to the base housing on the engine is this O-ring. It's a way better idea than having gaskets. It makes for an easy disassembly and assembly. You don't have to worry about anything drying. You can just whack it straight on and fill it full of coolant. You cannot remove a regulator like you would a thermostat to fix an overheating engine. If you remove the regulator and reinstall the housing and run the engine without it, you will overheat the engine. This is because the regulator shuts off the coolant flow back to the suction side of the water pump and sends the water to the radiator. Now if you don't have this in, all you do is loop the water back through to the suction side of the pump and barely any will go to the radiator. So it's not like a thermostat where you can pull them out to fix a overheating problem temporarily. You just, you just can't do that with these. So we're going to remove the temperature sender here because we need to look inside and drive out the bleed valve. There's a brass uh, valve that allows air to leave the system as you're filling it. Um, you can remove these and not put them in. It won't detriment the engine too much if you're in a hot climate. If you're in a cool climate, you may notice that your engine doesn't get to operating temperature. They're worth having in. We're putting a new one in this one. I'm driving it out with an extension because that's what I could get to fit perfect. Uh, you can drill these out. Sometimes they really bed into the base and they're hard to punch out. So if you just get like an 8mm drill and just drill through the guts of it, it'll just fall apart for you. This is the new valve. Comes with an O-ring already installed. And you can just put that in dry, give it a tap with a hammer. They're really easy to put in. Where the coolant comes into the base, there's a O-ring to go there. And that's the only two things really for the base. This is this large O-ring and the valve. And then it's ready to put onto the engine. At the front of the head is where the base bolts on. It has four long 8mm bolts. They get torqued to 35 newton meters. So install them first and secure the base to the head. Next we're going to put our temperature sender back in the base. There's probably a torque for them but I just did it up with a shifter. There's not too much to them. Next we put on the bypass pipe. This has an O-ring each side. This allows coolant to go through the engine and back to the suction side of the water pump when the regulator is closed in a cold engine situation. 
Now we are putting on the regulator housing. Just push it in like that and four bolts, 35 newton meters as well. And that is the regulator housing installed. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to my channel and check out my other playlists. There's plenty of videos like this to look at. And if you have a question, leave it in the comment section.